In this video, we're going to be learning the top five most commonly used commands in Nmap. But first, let's understand what Nmap is. Nmap is short for Network Mapper. Think of it like a scanning tool that lets you discover the devices that are connected to your network. It also scans for the services that are running on the system. Nmap is very commonly used by hackers to gather information about target system before attempting to exploit the vulnerabilities. Today, we're going to be learning about the most commonly used commands in Nmap. After this video, you will have a very good understanding how Nmap works. So let's get started. I'm in my Kali Linux right now. I will open the terminal and first check all the devices that are connected to my network and are online. So to do that, we need to check the network address that we are in and the subnet mask. So I will type the command IP space A and press enter. I can see my IP address is 192.168.1.10 and my subnet mask is slash 24. So to check all the devices that are connected to my network, I will type the command sudo nmap space dash sn space my network address which is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 dash sn is a simple ping scan. It will ping all the IP addresses from 0 to 255 and determine whether the host is online or not. So I will press enter. After the scanning is completed, I can see there are two hosts that is online. This is actually not two host. 192.168.1.10 is my own IP address. So the only host that is online is 192.168.120. If you have multiple other devices that are connected to your network, it will show you the result. But since I only have one device that is connected to my network, it is showing me only one. And I can also see the MAC address of the device. This is my another VM that is connected to my network. So this is how to discover the devices that are connected to your network. Next, we are going to be learning about the services that are running on the device. So to do that, type the command sudo nmap space dash s capital S and the IP of the target device, which in my case is 192.168.1.20. SS means that it is a stealthy scan, meaning that my scan is harder to detect. And if you are wondering, where am I finding these options? Then click the first link in the description box and you will get the full nmap cheat sheet. Earlier I used this option which skipped port scanning and scanned the devices only. Right now I'm using the SS option which is performing a TCP scene scan and just like this you will get all the options required to master nmap and you will get this article in the link in the description box. So I'll go back to my Kali Linux and perform the scene scan and press enter. After the scanning is completed I can see under port the ports that are open and the protocol that it is running on the state of the port which is open and the services that are running on the port so after the scanning has been completed i can see all the services that are running on the system but as a penetration tester this information is not enough we need to know the version of the services that are running on the system so for that we can use the next nmap command which is sudo nmap space dash s capital v which is for version and the IP address of the target machine. And now if I press enter, I can see after the scanning has been completed, it also gives me the version of the services that are running on the system. Now with this information, I can look for specific vulnerabilities of the services and exploit the system. In a future video, I will show you how to exploit a system using a version number only. But for now, let's move to the next nmap command, which is to determine which operating system is our target machine running. For that, I'll type the command sudo nmap space dash capital O for operating system space the target IP address and after the scanning is completed other than determining the ports I can see my target machine is running Linux and it also gives me the OS details too so this is how to find the operating system of a target machine with nmap finally before moving to the last command I just want to quickly mention you do not need to scan all the ports you can scan for specific ports if you want suppose if I want to determine the version of port 21 FTP only then I will type dash p for port and type 21 and the IP now if you want to scan port 21 and port 82 just give one comma and type 80 you can scan range of port like this 1 to 100 and if you want to scan all the ports just type dash p dash and nmap will scan for all the ports now let's move on to the final command which is dash a and the IP address here a means aggressive scan it does many things at once like the service version detection the OS detection and it also runs a default script so I will press enter and see and after the scanning has been completed I can see the version of the service that is running and because it also runs a default script 
I can get additional information of the FTP server. For example, I can see that anonymous login is allowed on this FTP server. Same goes for SSH. I can see the SSH host key. And if I scroll down, I can see the script has ran for all the services. And if I scroll more down, I can see the OS details too, which is a Linux. So this is how the aggressive scan works. Again, you will get all the information and the nmap cheat sheet in the first link in the description box. So if you like this video and want to watch more content related to ethical hacking or Kali Linux, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.